From the time I was three years old, I was a victim of molestation by a family member, an uncle actually, um, up until the time I was 11. And then it continued until I was maybe about 16 years old. And that was by a, a boyfriend of my mother's. I was also physically abused by my mom's husband from the time I was probably two up until 10. As a teenager, I was troubled. I was a troubled um, child. I used to get in fights a lot. I, I was bullied. I became the bully. But I didn't understand what depression really, really was at that time. So I used to cut my arm and, and do things like that because I didn't, I want to feel like a numbness. <laughs> Found myself um, being pregnant and it was the best experience that I could ever imagine. After I had my daughter, uh, she was five days old. We brought her home from the hospital and her father, he passed away. He passed away that same day. We brought her home from the hospital. I knew my father. He lived in the same town as me. I never really had a relationship with him the way that I would have liked to. So I was raised with, with my mother. It wasn't a mother-daughter relationship. It was more of a, a friendship that was kind of toxic. And at the age of um, 27, I did get married and I had three more daughters with that marriage. And I endured a lot in that marriage that, was, that I know now was toxic, that I know now was an ab abusive situation. I had to change that because I saw my mother do that. I saw my mother when my stepfather would do hideous things to us or even to her. Two years ago, two, two, almost three years ago, two and a half years ago, I, I was pregnant with my fourth daughter. I went to the doctor and I um, just, he saw how down I was and he recommended I, do, I had done this questionnaire. And I, I completed the questionnaire. And probably a month later, I received a phone call from Patricia Elder and Alejandra. I, I, I explained to them my situation and they, were, and they were very open and honest. And they said, well, we can work with you. Let's just try something and we'll see how the chemistry goes and how you're feeling and what's your availability and we'll go from there. They came to my home and um, they talked about the services that they provided, which was counseling and I agreed <laughs> they offered support for my, my my daughters they went to their schools the daycare um, I was given a crib for my baby <laughs> they were able to help me refocus my energy refocus my thought process and really dig down deep into what I have been through and understand my trauma so that I wouldn't continue to repeat the the cycle the patterns it was my selfishness. I was selfish to allow my children and myself to endure the things that we went through because of my idea of a happy ending. And almost three years later, almost, <laughs> they're still here. What I would say to other moms, I would tell them to just put their pride aside. There are so many resources out there, but don't stay in a situation. You don't want your kids to to feel that way, have that same similar story to tell 20 years from now, to set them in the right direction so that they could be a better person in this world. Because a troubled child will definitely turn into a troubled adult. The donations that are given to this program, it, it paves the way for a lot of women who can't help themselves, who can't or don't know the resources out there, it's very needed. Thank you.